heavenly, I feel like I shared some things with you that I had not shared with all of the ladies. One of the things you said was that if my husband got a job, my relationship would be better. I've right. never said anything that you told me in confidence. That's a bold-faced lie. Okay, are you going to let me finish? I mean, go ahead. I'm just correcting you as I think I mean, about it. I mean, either you want to know why I'm offended or you don't want to know. And if I'm you don't want to know, I'm actually okay with you. Never, I never said that. I no don't need way. a correction. When Cecil got laid off, he decided he would take the year off. I was pissed. So I confided in Heavenly. And then this bitch tweets about it. Can we just talk? Do not even let me okay, finish the sentence. Okay. It's tough. And I don't understand the attitude. I don't have an attitude. Okay, good. Okay. I, I just perceiving it wrong. You call me a liar. Can you own that your husband was wrong for tweeting me? He said that I need to pressure wash my house. He didn't say you needed to pressure wash yes, your house. He quoted Mariah. Bitch, your house nasty. Pressure wash this okay. mother You done set us all up for motherfucking contamination. A man does not do that to women. I just, I mean, my husband would do it. I, I'm just kidding on me. Can we, you and can't that's speak on what no, 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 a man I'm saying my do. husband. I'm talking about my husband. But everybody is not I agree. your husband. And I agree, but I'm saying there's certain things men should not do. Cecil would no, never don't stay. Don't, don't do. Me. What is it? There's some things that Cecil does that my husband would do. Well, no. no. you already said it. Talk about it. There's some many ones. No, y'all, listen. I'm not trying that. to go there, but what is what, 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 David? Because David is the best man I know. All right, so it's, we're not going to get anywhere. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. If you're going to make a statement like that, let's talk through it. I've let's talk through, through it. it. Let's babe. go to the bathroom. Concentrating on their chest. Match. Okay, well, praise God, you know I was a chess champion in high school. Were you really? I absolutely was. You were. You like an onion. There's so See, many layers. I mean, you just don't know nothing about me, do you? Is that crazy? Yeah, girl, I'm like... just learning everything I learn. I love though. When Heavenly remembers her past, she was always the best. I was vice president of student government. I was president of Ender Club Council. I was president of my class my freshman year in college. She was the highest flying cheerleader. She was the slam dunk champion in high school. All right, watch your step. I graduated with honors. I got a full scholarship, and I am a world-renowned dentist. But you know, in this group, you can say a lot of shit, but you don't have to have any receipts. So, how was your day? What'd you do? I was at work today. I actually sat six implants. You I be worked working all day, huh? No, no, that was just till twelve. Really? Yeah, I worked half a day. Well, today was a little different. I've been just studying a lot lately. What y'all taking finals or what? Uh, no, not quite. So, um. So, Scott and I had a conversation. I'm working my tail off with these kids. I'm waking these kids up. I'm getting these kids ready, and you ain't appreciating it. He kind of in insinuated that I have abandoned the family. And I'm like, who talks like that to their spouse? And so I was like, look, when did I lose the ability to have input on how we raising our children? Because you stepped out of the city. And I'm like, how did, just because I went to school? Because I'm getting... For a year? These kids ain't supposed to be with him? This supposed to be with you. You're a natural nurturer, okay? Men don't get it, don't and you know it. they don't. So why leave your damn kids here with your damn husband? Cause he told me I could not take them. You knew better. You gotta take care of marriage. The marriage gotta go first. It's God, it's family, then it's everything else. A woman's place is where? I don't know. A woman's place is where? In her heart. With her children. In her right? heart and soul. With her children. You signed up to be a wife. You don't believe the words that just came out of your own mouth. The miscarriage hit us pretty hard. You had Ashton who cried. You had Avery who went into this like, oh my God. Then you had Eugene who really didn't say much, just wanted to make sure I'm okay. It's just been very difficult for everybody. I know it was sad when we found out that mommy wasn't pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. How y'all been feeling about it? I've been feeling a little bit okay. okay. I've been feeling mad. You've been feeling mad? Why are you mad? to cut the baby diet. OK. Well, well that's something not let's so... not say it that way. Yeah, look, you shouldn't say, say that the baby like died. Okay? We should say that the baby couldn't grab one. Right, because and... it was so small that it's not even something. If you saw it, you would even think it was a, a, a baby, right? Because baby started at one cell, and then it goes to two, and four, and eight. And so it keeps people are made of cells? Yeah, there's cells all over your body. 
we have smart kids, and so why not break it to, down to them in a scientific way? I think it helps, at least them. If you're upset, what I would prefer you to do is come tell your mom and I that you're upset and you want to talk about it, OK? Uh-huh. What if somebody starts talking about it and I, and I start crying? What would, you, what would happen? Nothing. Hopefully, if you start crying, somebody will say, Ashton, do you want a hug? You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. You're going to cry because it's normal, OK? OK. It's normal. And then soon, you're going to be able to talk about it without crying. OK. All right? OK. Yeah. I love you. Me too. All right. I definitely regret that I told my sons that I was pregnant so early on. You just don't want to hurt your kids in any way or and I feel like, you know, I, it's like I accidentally showed them pain. So let's go upstairs and take a bath. And I just felt like that's something I didn't want to have to do. Are you OK? I don't know. When I went to see Simone, I don't know. It was just like I had just finally got to that place where I was OK. And then we did an ultrasound, and I didn't see nothing there. I was just like, OK, maybe I'm not OK. It's just the fact that you go through the process of being pregnant, and then all of a sudden, it's like you're not. And it was just like, oh. Like, now I feel like I'm going to be like extra sensitive, not want to tell anybody. I think in order to get back to normal, we just really just need time. OK, ish. Well, for six weeks, I haven't drank. I think a, a, a nice, stiff <laughs> glass of tequila. I think, <laughs> I, think, well. I think that'll help us get back to normal. I mean, we both got excited. But you know, it is what it is. But you're, you're healthy, you're fine, right? I'm fine. <laughs> Did you just you look know. at your penis? No. When you said I'm lying. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Miles. So I'm going to start. <clears throat> Stop trying to punish us for things that you think we do, but you don't even know if we actually do it. You be like, clean your room up. Your room's dirty. You've never been upstairs. You don't know what our room looks Ooh. like. Mm. Uh -huh. it's it's a, it's time for you to get up. Five more minutes? No, you're Dude. getting up now. Don't sit too close to your mama. I don't yeah. think that'd be. You gonna sit right over here. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mike. The hostility in your tone of voice. What? We could be talking about the most pointless thing. Like, you could be like, why is this water bottle green? Why is it green? Like, oh, like we should be like, mama. Miles, he is not that funny. There is nothing crazy about being loud. When I have asked them to pick up their sh five times. So, of course, on time number six, I'm loud. Now, this is all with love I don't and mama. Like, I don't feel we like love the I don't feel like <laughs> you. Mama, we love you. We want to make sure you understand. I don't feel like it went well. This went so well. It's like living with a bunch of animals, but I love them. Look at that one sound. Y'all gang up on me. We all got so much. We love you. I'm Dr. Simone, and this is my husband, Cecil. To subscribe, click here. For more videos, click here.